Now that we've learned a bit about how to store data, we might also want to uh, upload files. So up until now, we've really looked at simple inputs for our HTML, you know, basic text strings, uh, and, you know, numbers, maybe longer text fields. But sometimes you want to upload an, a file, you know, maybe an image or something else to one of your sites. So fortunately, this is a, this is a possibility, but there are some challenges in doing this. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated than some other platforms because App Engine, its limitation is that we're working with VMs and these are containers and we kind of give it a package of files, but we don't actually save any files inside of that container once we're running. So we have to think about where we're going to put this file. Uh, you know, we don't actually, we can't save that to the particular virtual machine that we're working with. And even if we could, if we started, uh, if our application started to expand and we had several virtual machines, those other virtual machines wouldn't have access to that file. So if you had a user and a user were, were to upload an image and that image was associated with that user and then somebody tried to look at that user's page uh, but was served on one of these other virtual machines or one of these other, uh, you know, one of these other environments, then we wouldn't actually see that. So, you know, we need to have a central place to put these files. So we're using Google App Engine. There's a fortunate, very easy, uh, easy opportunity here to use Google Cloud Storage. Uh, in Google Cloud Storage, we have automatic redundancy, so we don't have to worry about uh, data getting lost. It does serve data very effectively, and it serves it directly. So you know, once we've saved our image there, we can very easily reference it other places. And we can store data in multiple regions so that we can make it easier to access for all of our users. So the HTML part of storing a or of uploading an image is actually pretty straightforward. You need a file input type or uh, input type file element. So uh, if you do this, if you set input type equals file, that will automatically give you the uh, the browse button so that you can find a file and upload it. Or you, if, if you're on your phone, it will automatically allow you to choose a file. Uh, and you give that a name, and then your form. The the other thing that has to change in your HTML is your form. Uh, element has to have an enc type, uh, an encoding type attribute. So typically what you'll see is enc type multi-part form data. So we'll have an input type to, to identify our file and then we'll have a form method equals post uh, with an enc type multi-part form data and that's really all we have to do on the HTML side of things. So somebody will select a file, they'll click submit and that will go uh, to, our, to our upload. The challenge is more on the Python side of this. Uh, the first thing that we'll need to do is retrieve that uploaded file, and we'll need to retrieve its content type as well. Then we're going to access a Google Cloud Storage client. Um, and Google Cloud Storage, instead of working with directories or folders or anything like that, it uses buckets. It calls them buckets. So uh, once we have a cloud storage bucket, we can then create a blob, which is just binary large object. Uh, that's pretty much, you know, blob is a normal uh, programming term that we, anytime we're dealing with something that uh, may be some type of binary data that we need to move around, we often call that a blob. Uh, and then we transfer that from the Flask object. So you can see here, we build this GCS client. It's very simple. You just storage.client. Uh, and then we retrieve that bucket. So we're going to have some particular GCS bucket, and we're going to have a bucket name there. Then we're going to get take a, a blob from that storage bucket, and uh, we're going to send the uploaded file file name. And then we're going to transfer that uh, from the string that is read from this file, and then we're going to just uh, set the content type so we know what we're storing there. Now, once we've saved that, it's actually very simple. That UR, that, that blob itself is going to have a URL, so we could save that into our data store. We can refer to that somewhere else, and then we can uh, we can access that very directly. And we could just put it right into an image uh, SRC attribute, and the source attribute, so we can show an, uh, show one of these very simply. So we're going to get through an example in this next uh, video. Uh, so this is something that you know maybe once you see it, it might make a little bit more sense. But hopefully, this video will give you a, a rough idea of the steps involved. Uh, you know, first we just set some HTML. We create an HTML, HTML element. We set our uh, enc type attribute on the form, uh, and then we have to actually create a GCS bucket, uh, access that bucket, and then move it from our Flask application into that bucket. So we're going to get through each one of those steps in this example. Uh, for now, thanks for watching.